Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we will try to understand classful addressing. The concept of hierarchy of addressing has already been explained in our previous video. If you haven't watched that video, please watch that video because the understanding of that video is very important for you to understand what we are going to discuss in this class. And every video in our channel is going to be a part of entire course or a playlist. Our suggestion is to follow the entire course so that you can have better understanding of the concept. And the link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Now coming to this class, we'll try to understand classful addressing so what this classful addressing is it is an efficient mechanism to utilize the IP addresses that are available as we have 2 power 32 IP addresses so all those IP addresses are to be efficiently efficiently utilized so for that to happen so what this classful addressing will do is it is going to divide the entire classful uh, the entire set of uh, IP addresses into classes into classes based upon the based upon the prefix number prefix bits based upon the prefix bits the ip addresses the set of all ip addresses are made into groups called classes there are five groups or five classes they are class a class b class c class d and class e so out of those class a class b and class 3 are based upon the prefixes class d and class e are a bit different we will try to understand them about later so now uh, coming to the class a address so what this class a address consists of is uh, the size of the prefix bits the number of bits in the prefix is it is 8 bits so the grouping of class a addresses so from the set of all the ip addresses the grouping of all the uh, uh, class A addresses is done based upon the size of the prefix uh, considering the size of prefix as 8 bits so here the value of n is equal to 8 so the value of uh, host bits the value of uh, host ID part is going to have 24 bits okay so the number of networks that are possible are and uh, uh, one more thing is this each and every class is identified by a code so what is the code that is used for class a to get identified it is zero so this bit is constant for all the class a ip addresses this bit is constant so out of eight one is uh, uh, one is going to be constant so how many bits are remaining so we are left with seven bits so uh, seven bits we are left with so the number of ip addresses the number of uh, the number of uh, uh, the number of uh, unique numbers that are possible with seven bits is 2 power 7 so with 2 power 7 we are going to get 128 networks so class a is in this entire world of ip addresses class a addresses are 128 addresses and what is the what is the size of the uh, size of the uh, suffix in the sense uh, uh, for each network how many hosts can be accommodated it is 2 power 24 it is the number of ip addresses is equal to 2 power 24 okay nearly 16 million uh, hosts can be accommodated in each network so try to get that point so we are going to have 2 power 7 number of networks and in each network it is going to have 2 power 24 hosts which is 16 million of hosts in each network okay so that is the possibility of a class a address one single class a address will have uh, address in the sense one a class uh, one single class a network is going to have 16 million hosts so what are those uh, uh, what does this first octet consist of how can we say that by seeing the ip address can we say that is it a class a address or class b address yes we can say that so the first byte if the first byte consists of 0 to 127 2 power 7 means it is 128 so it is going to range from 0 to 127 if the first octet is having a number between 0 and 127 then it is a class a address so in the next uh, so how this code word is generated that we will try to understand as we go on okay so there is a logic behind 
the generation of this code word how this code word is used there is a logic that we will try to understand so this is all about uh, class a address so for example uh, let's see one uh, class a address and see how the host will be in the class a address so for example if you take uh, uh, how what is that it is 10 dot so the class a address is going to be the network id is going to be 10.0.0 .0. so this entire 10.0.0 .0 .0, uh, 10.0.0.0 is going to represent the entire network so this is a class a address so now how to assign the host what are the ip addresses that are uh, created for this host it is 10.0.0.1 10.0.0.2 10.0.0.3 so on so forth we are going to cover so this is going to have this octet is going to have 255 numbers and after that we are going to have this octet is going to have 255 again this octet is going to have 255 in this in that way for for this single ip address of 10.0.0.0 for this single network so this is the network part right for this single network assigning the values in this way we can get 16 million number of ip addresses i am stressing it as ip addresses not as hosts so the number of hosts that can be accommodated uh, uh, for this uh, network id is for any network it is 2 power uh, 24 minus 2 so uh, based upon the number of IP address we are going to reduce 2 from them so that is the number of hosts that can be configured to this network so why we why we have to reduce 2 uh, minus 2 that we will try to in understand in our next video okay now coming to the uh, class B addressing so what this class B addressing is how it is going to be so class B addressing the number of uh, uh, in the class b addressing the prefix bits are 16 so 16 will be covered uh, 16 bits are occupied by uh, uh, prefix and for suffix it is going to occupy the remaining 16 bits so the number of ips are 2 power 16 which is around 65000 65k and similarly the number of networks so what is the code for class b address so the code for class b address is uh, one zero and we have remaining six bits so these six bits are uh, six bits are for uh, the remaining six bits and also this bit this eight bit octet this entire uh, uh, eight bit space is also uh, come under the uh, class b address so the first octet in the first octet these two bits are occupied uh, these two bits are constant whenever the ip, IP address is received whenever it identifies one zero at the start of the IP address then the computer will know that this is a class B address and now based upon the remaining bits it is going to decide the network network number and after that the host okay so let's try to uh, go deeper into this so how many networks are possible it is 2 power 14 2 power 14 2, four, uh, two power 14 networks are possible and uh, how many uh, okay 2 power 14 networks are possible so what is the first byte what are the what are the decimal values of this first byte so in the previous network we have seen it is uh, uh, in the class a it is uh, 127 so now uh, with the six bits so how many possibilities are there 2 power 6 is equal to 64 2 power 6 is 64 and uh, the decimal values of the first octet so why we are discussing about this first byte uh, every time is based upon the first bit we can say that whether it is a class a class b class c or class d or class e so the classes can be defined by using can be uh, we can understand to which class the ip address belongs uh, by using this first byte so uh, 64 uh, uh, 64 ip addresses or in the sense uh, uh, so 64 is possibility of this first octet uh, in the previous class a it is 127 plus 64 it is going to be 191 okay so 191 so from 128 to 191 128 to 191 is representing the first octet and the second octet is also used for the uh, 
the second octet is also used for the network id so how the network part of the uh, class b address will look like is for example if you take 128.1 and the host id is 0.70 so this is one of the IP address. Now the network ID is 128.1. So to this network, how many hosts are possible to this network called 128.1? How many hosts, how many IP addresses are possible? The number of IP addresses that are possible is around 65K. Around 65K. Okay. Uh, and uh, the number of hosts that can be configured is, it is 2 power 16 minus 2. So why this minus 2 that we will try to understand in our next next class the number of hosts the number of IP addresses so try to get the difference okay so this is all about uh, uh, class B addressing now how this code word how we are going to get this code word in the class A addressing we have the possibility of uh, nodes from 0 to 127 so what is the binary value of 127 it is 0 7 ones seven ones and uh, what is the binary value for 128 see here the code is zero the code is zero for class a and uh, from zero with seven bits we have the possibility of all zeros to all ones now with all zeros to all ones it is going to be between zero to 127 now what is the what is the uh, next number after 127 it is 128 what is the binary value of 128 this is the binary value for 128 so the now the code for class b address is 10 and with the six bits with the six bits what is the possibility from all zeros to all ones from all zeros to all ones means we are going to have 64 possibilities now uh, adding 64 to 127 we are going to get 191 so the range of the range of first first byte the range of first byte will be from uh, 127 to 191 so the range of ip addresses is the range of ip address is 64 into 256 64 into 256 because of this 8 bits because of this 8 bits for every first octet value we are going to have 256 possibilities so the number of values is the number of ip addresses that are possible is 64 into 256 which is equal to 2 power 4 so just to see uh, find the value of 2 power 14 14 bits are there 2, for, 2 power 14 is equal to 64 into 2 for, uh, 256 just do the math so both of them are equal okay so this is the possibility of class b addressing and uh, class c what is class c addressing see here so the class c is going to have class c is going to have uh, 24 prefix bits so this this is going to have more number of networks and less number of nodes less number of hosts in the network more number of networks are possible but less number of hosts to each network so 24 bits will be occupied by 24 will be bits will be occupied by network id and the host id is going to have 256 values so how many networks are possible again the code word is 110 the same logic will get applied what is the uh, binary value for 191 191 is 10111111 okay so now 192 what happens is 11000000 so this is the code word this is the code word and remaining five bits this remaining five bits is used as the part of ip address so what is the first byte values that are possible it is 191 plus 32 okay <clears throat> what are the possibilities 2 power 5 means it is 32 right so it is 191 plus 32 191 plus 32 is equal to it is uh, 223 okay so the first bit range is is going to be 192 to 233 and again we are having these eight bits and these eight bits also so with all these values we are going to have 2 power 21 values 2 power 21 
class C networks are possible for each network for each network we are going to have 8 uh, 2 power 8 hosts 2 power 8 IP addresses and what are the number of hosts number of hosts is equal to 2 power 8 minus 2 number of hosts is equal to 2 power 8 minus 2 okay so this is all about class C addressing now coming back to the class D class D addressing so the class D addressing and class E addressing are not uh, divided into prefix and suffixes suffixes so they are going to be uh, this is this this uh, class D is going to have the code of okay class D is going to have the code of 110 and class E is going to have the code of triple one uh, four ones and these addresses are used for are called as multicast addressing so in multicasting so the concept of multicasting we will discuss in our next video so for multicast addressing these uh, addresses are used the ra this range of addresses are used in multi for multicast addressing and uh, class e addresses we uh, they are reserved addresses so we know uh, we don't know much about these uh, reserved ad addresses Mo uh, so these addresses are reserved uh, for future use okay so the uh, the first byte range is 240 to 225 if the, if you find any of these addresses they are classy addresses okay so this is uh, how the things are going to work uh, the entire ip addresses are grouped into class a class b class c class d and class e okay so hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited thanks for watching